What's up guys, Tom here with Extreme Air Vents again with another really cool installation. We're gonna be putting the high torque rollers in the secondary. Um, mine are not cracked or anything, but it's kind of the preemptive. Uh, in the background, if you didn't watch the video on the Avid drivers, it's part of this install. So I thought while we got everything out, um, we'll get these high torque rollers put in to show that process. Now, I'm assuming a few things. You've watched other videos and seen how to get the secondary clutch out. So we're to this point, I've removed the uh, that thing. And now we're gonna remove the helix spring with the compressor tool. And then we'll take the clutch apart to access the roll pins that we've got to punch out. Um, you're gonna need to get a 3 30 seconds roll pin punch and then we'll, we'll do it. So follow along. Okay, so you've got to have some kind of press to press the helix. Uh, this is one I bought year, a couple of years ago. Um, it's not the greatest, but it's functions. Uh, if you've seen on other videos. Anyway, you just gotta have something, the type that goes inside, or there's one that threads over these threads. It's got a real skinny shaft, but nobody wants a skinny shaft. Okay, I'm just gonna slightly compress that. If you followed my counsel and replaced the Torx bolts with these 13 millimeter bolts on the back, you're gonna thank me. You will thank me so many times when you do this because those torque bolts suck, suck. Now it's just a socket. Boom. Okay, bolts are all out. Now we'll release the spring and helix. Something I always like to do is take a marker and kind of just mark, we'll just go here, here, so when it all goes back together, make sure we got it all lined up. Okay, so we're gonna take off the puller, helix and spring. Okay, if you slide this sheave back, you can now access the uh, Torx bolts, but we're gonna have to remove this white spacer right here to get to the roll pin, to punch out the roll pins. Okay, so we'll get that out. Okay, I'm just gonna use a little pick Pull that spacer out. Okay, once that, that that's out, I'll show you where the roll pins are. Okay, so there's the roll pins we're gonna punch out with the three, three thirty seconds pin punch. Okay, so we'll uh, line those up, punch them out towards the back. Once they're out, then we can loosen these bolts, remove the rollers and get the new ones installed. We're gonna go ahead and just punch them all the way out the back. Okay, you can see where that pin's coming out. I'm gonna try to get that when it falls down so we can reuse it, put it back in the front. Okay, that's the pin. Now that bolt will be able to remove. Got that one. So you can see it's the split style roll or spring pan, I think is what they call these. Now you're gonna take a number 27 Torx and remove these bolts. They're not super tight, so you'll watch that roller should come off right off here. Okay, there's the roller. There's the hole or the bolt with the hole. Okay, 
Inspecting these stock rollers, mine look pretty good. There's, they only have 600 miles on them, but they tend to crack where these high torque rollers don't. Um, same old outside diameter. So now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall these. Okay, so in the instructions it says to place the bolt in and then we'll put the washer in and then the raised face towards the washer. So like this, okay? So that raised face is gonna have less friction on the washer, okay? So it's towards the outside. So we'll start on this side. Should probably put some new Loctite on there. We'll put some blue. Okay, some new blue Loctite. So I've got the bolt just set in there. I'll slide the washer in. Raised face towards the washer. Okay, we'll go ahead and tighten that up. Okay, I'm gonna shine a, shine a system torque to 14 foot pounds. I'm gonna shine a light in there and see when I can see the hole so that I can line up that pin and get it back in there. Okay, sorry, the heater just turned on, but you can see that light back there. So that, I am able to put that roll pin back in there through that hole. Okay, that roll pin's in, roller spins freely. You can see how the washer is uh, on the outside. So we'll get this one put in. That's all there is to it, to installing the high torque rollers. Now obviously we're gonna put it all back together. First, we're gonna put this plastic piece back in. Spring Helix, blue Loctite on the Helix bolts. That's all there is. If you haven't seen this trick yet, removing the torques, go to my hot rod sled shop clutch uh, installation video. And if you want to not watch the whole thing, skip to the secondary clutch part. But anyway, replace those torques with these from the hardware store. And then you can access this stuff without pulling the jack shaft while it's on the sled. So you can't do this while it's on the sled. You got to have this out. but. Oh, the heater just turned off. Whew.